Alright guys, we're finna go talk to Dutch. And I think we're finna leave, so um, when we stop? When we reach Paris? So let's uh nice. let's get straight to it. I'll talk more after so the cutscene. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I'll be right back. Guys. Sensible, shape them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into the goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Alright, guys. Now, where have I heard that before? Let's get back into it. Well, uh, took, uh, took a sip of my drink before uh, I turned the face count back on. But, um. Let's go ride to Dewberry. Creek boys, um, thank you guys for um for all the support. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am. Like I said last video, and so where are we pretty going? much all of them. Find a new spot to camp. Um, We're packing up and moving on. Does not have a. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Yep. All right, let's go. We made it. So let's see. We get uh, whoever this is. Are oh, you on the ground? What about this jump? Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit the... All right, Charles, let's go take a look. We're gonna walk in there. Maybe we can make some peace. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. It looks empty, but it's probably because they're just not here. I take those. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. How do you refill your dead middle, uh, dead, uh, dead eye meter? Shoot my man. Oh, no harm. She got the double barrel boy, that power. Let me turn off the face cam. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of here! They took our father! Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. First of all, um... Let's look in the satchel real quick to find... Uh, 
there. There we go. Tracks. Now this is the refill it. Come on. Doesn't it? I don't see nothing. Like the eye. This way. No? What's going on with you? What? Yeah. There's no ice around. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Right. We have found him. Let's cut him out. I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? Wait, what gun am I using? We got more running in. Ah, ah, out of here. Ah, you're a dead man. Ah. You don't see the source. You got a headshot on. Last one's making a run for it. Take him down. Well, that's them dealt with. You get him untied. We'll see what they've left behind for us. Here, Tuvan. It's okay. Then you out Let's of here. Just cut him free. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Oh, that's the lab. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo guys, on a uh, couple of this part, my mic actually went out after I turned the volume down. I don't know what happened, but I had to fix it mid video. So in some parts, it's not gonna have my audio. It's still gonna have the game audio. It's still gonna hear all the cutscenes and everything like that. What happens in game? But you won't be able to hear my mic audio. But I'm gonna try to cut a little bit of things out until we get back to where uh, my mic audio is back. So other than that, guys, I am out. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> uh, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, Better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot. Well, well, look who it is. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, 
At your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. That, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them. Banderson boys alive. What did I tell you? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Mm, looks like a son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. So long, deputies. Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yeah. Stick to the side of the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Now he's throwing bottles. The oh, low down. You cop bastards! I didn't do nothing! Oh. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? Take him in. Come on. I 
fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Carry him over, then. Show me something I haven't seen. Hey, before. fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of Rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. My boys, we're back. Uh, I don't know if my okay. audio cut it so out a couple minutes ago, but fans. hope it didn't. Arthur. Sure, why not? Great. New chapter. Time to okay. change the outfit, guys. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Sure, nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water. Oh, this is a reflection. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this beauty. Oh, yeah. That's how there you get a fish, boys. Well done, Arthur. Yeah, we're keeping they this. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Give me that. Well, it told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. 50 pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Hosea, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with 
three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, get. But now you like some professional one day, fishers. We were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, Well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. You hooked him. There we go. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. <sighs> you right, never had on. control of that come dog. On. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. Come on. Come on. You know, come I on. remember us come on. how black water is this was a the small tiny fish? Ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try Ain't to tiny at all. further east, we reckon we call it a day, fellas. Yeah, I've been catching fish out of the frames. We can call it a day, boy. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Aha. Thank you. Almost there. Almost out of this freaking boat. Notice how he starts rolling faster. <laughs> All right. I think I... Well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. What boys? I guess I'll we're done with this mission. Yep, we're officially done. You know, All right, that's the end of this video, of guys. I'll see you next video. Talk to you later. I'm out.